that's it. Those what those are the things that I, one you would which prize you would choose. <laughs> Welcome to another video. My name is Heather and as always I'm reading with a vengeance and I hope you are too. This is going to be a really short video. It's just the giveaway. I don't have any wrap ups for you today, but I do have some prizes. I happened to notice a couple of days ago that I hit 2000 subscribers and it kind of blew my mind. Now I am not here for subscribers and likes and stuff like that. I originally started this channel and I keep doing this channel and these videos because I love talking about books and sharing with you the books that I love and maybe not love so much. And I like in return hearing about the books you're reading or what you think about the books that we have read together or just the same books that we've read. But still, when I see that little milestone in this community, it, I mean, it's kind of cool. So I wanted to do something to share my gratitude with you other than telling you guys how truly grateful I am that you come here and you listen to me blather on about the books that I love and just about the thing that I love to do so much, just as much as you love to do, and that's reading and books. But I just thought it would be fun to have a giveaway and send a couple of prizes. There's, they're nothing really big, but I think they're pretty cool. Let's start with the boring admin stuff. I can only do US because of course shipping. Shipping is kind of a pain in the ass. It's very costly. Uh, to do international shipping and with customs and all that stuff. Um, so I am keeping it to the United States. It shouldn't be that big of a deal because I think more than 90% of my watchers are in the US. So that's a good thing, but I still wanted to put it out there that if you are one of the five people that watch that don't live in the United States, I'm afraid you can't participate. Um, the other thing, oh yes, the rules. So of course there's gonna be rules, I mean, I guess it shouldn't really be called a giveaway because there are rules. I guess it's a contest. That's dumb. Whatever. Just to be supportive of the channel and be eligible for the giveaway, if you could like this video and if you could also be a subscriber, that would be, of course, wonderful. That really helps me out. And then comment down below what book you're reading right now. Any book. Not your favorite book, not the book you loved the most last month, whatever. What are you reading right now? I want to know. Please comment in the comment section. So if you do all of those things, you'll be eligible for a prize. I think those are all the rules. Oh yes. So this is kind of an obvious one, but I need to put it out there. Obviously, if you are a winner, which I will be drawing randomly. If you're a winner, you need to be prepared to email me your mailing address so that I can obviously send you your prize. So those are the rules. Like, subscribe, comment your, the book that you're reading right now, be prepared to send me your mailing address, and live in the U.S. Easy peasy, right? Let's now get on to the fun stuff of what I'm giving away. So the first thing is, and I don't know if I've mentioned yet, so there's going to be four winners. I have three prizes. I actually have four, but two of the prizes are the same thing. You'll get it in a second. Anyways, there's going to be four winners. Also, I want to put it out there. I've had a giveaway before where I've had multiple prizes and I've given you the option to choose which prize you would prefer. But this one, it's going to be a surprise. So I'm going to tell you what the prizes are. You're going to try to win a prize, but you're not going to know which prize you're going to get in the mail. The first one is this really cool canvas bag that I got when I went to the Women's Prize for Fiction and Nonfiction this year in London. I think I gave away as a gift to somebody the canvas bag for the fiction. And then this one here is the Women's Prize for Nonfiction 2024 bag. And it's really, really cool actually because this was the first year that they had a prize for nonfiction, number one. Number two is not only does it have the emblem on one side, but on the other side, it has the short list of the authors and the book titles. So I think that's really cool. It's a pretty sturdy bag. I mean, I'm a pretty average sized person. It's pretty deep. Um, it opens, it, so there's like, I forget what this is called. Is this called a gusset? I can't remember, but it folds open like this. So it's not just a single fold. It's 
pretty wide, you'll be able to get a bunch of stuff in here. But that's really not even the coolest thing about this tote, right? That's the coolest thing about this tote. So that is the first prize. The second prize is this beautiful copy of a paperback edition of Barbara King Solver's Demon Copperhead. I work at a bookstore, if you don't already know, and sometimes when we get damaged books, we donate them to various places. There were multiple copies of this damaged in a shipment, and I grabbed this one actually for me, but I just thought it would be a really nice prize for you guys. I will probably end up buying my own copy because I really just love this book. It was one of my favorites of last year, probably top three, and I would consider it a favorite of all time. It's the same cover as the US version of the hardcover, but of course um, in paperback, but it's also extra beautiful because the lettering is in orange foil. If you can't see that, it's gorgeous. But anyways, so this was damage it's in really really good condition there is a little wear down here so just disclosure it's not in pristine shape but it is still a beautiful copy it's readable and i just thought it would be a really nice prize so that's prize number two prize number three and four i've been trying to give these away for over a year when i went to london last year my very first trip to the women's prize for fiction lena norms had just released her poetry collection i think it was her very first poetry collection either that or just the first one that she's had published and selling in mainstream bookstores and when i was over there i bought five copies and i kept one for myself i gave one to my best friend i gave one i think to my mom and then i've been meaning to find a reason to have a giveaway and of course, this is a perfect reason. So I have two copies of Bargain Bin Rom-Com Poetry Collection by Lena Norms. If you don't watch her channel, what are you doing with your life? Because she's amazing. I'm not a poetry person, but I loved her poetry. She's got stuff to say. She has a lot to say, mostly for folks maybe 20 years younger than me, but it's still pretty relatable. It's very, very easily readable and consumable, and also very funny at times, very poignant in others, and heartfelt and just wonderfully written. And I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I have a copy for myself, and I'm glad I have two extra copies to give to two of you. But I think it's an adorable cover also, so if you like to decorate your house with bookish things, I think this is an excellent excellent asset to any book lover. So these are prizes three and four. So that's it. Those are the things I'm giving away for reaching 2000 subscribers. I just want to take this opportunity also to just express to you how appreciative I am of your support, that you watch this channel, that you do all the things, the liking and the subscribing and the commenting. And there's a handful of you that I chat with on the regular every time I post a video. A few of you I'm friends with on Goodreads and uh, a few of you that I talk with on Instagram. And that never would have happened without you guys here watching my videos. So thank you so much. I truly love doing this. And it really wouldn't matter if there was 2,000 of you or two of you. I just love talking about books, but I did want to acknowledge the milestone in the booktube community by giving something uh, back to you guys. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching, for supporting, and I will have a video coming out really, really soon. I have a wrap up coming out soon. I'm just like a hair so close to finishing my Paris and London vlog. Um, so that's gonna come out too. Thank you for joining me in my boudoir. <laughs> And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.